is up, Zoe Hills Kids, 456 All Stars Treehouse, wherever you are, and even if you're not a part, I'm super glad that you guys are watching. Today is our Christmas Eve special. I hope you guys are excited. Let's just say there's going to be some fun emojis, a great Christmas story, and there might be a little surprise at the end. So stay till the end and check out what we've got for you guys. I cannot wait. I'll see you then. Hello friends, my name is Sam. If you do not know me, um, and if you're receiving this message, well, you're part of a very special group of people who get to see an awesome Christmas show. So Christmas is coming, right? It's Christmas Eve, and we are so excited about celebrating the birth of our Savior Jesus. Now, I could have just like sent an email or a text and sent it all out and whatever, but I wanted to have a little fun and be a little creative. You see, my phone and most of yours have all of these emojis in there, and I decided, why can't we just tell the Christmas story with some emojis? Oh, uh, I, I I'm not so sure about this idea, Sam. Like, don't you think this is a little silly? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Skeptical. Do you think, do you think emojis are silly? Well, I'm around a smiley face who's, you know, always rubbing my chin in a constant state of doubt and disbelief, and... I think that's about as silly as a person can get, don't you? Okay. So maybe it's a little silly, but I think we can actually work together to tell the story of Jesus in a way that everyone will never, ever forget. I doubt it, but since there's no stopping you, I, I wish you good luck. And if you need me to play a part, do let me know. I'll be happy to lend my talents. To the part of the one of the wise man. Um, wise man. Excuse me, there was more than one. I was thinking more along the Grinch or something for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> I am humbled. You know what? If a part comes up skeptical, I'll let you know. Meanwhile, we need to clear the stage. It's time for a party. All right, everybody, listen, listen, listen. Shh, please, please. Silly face, emoji, angry face. Okay, come on, tone it down. Tone it down. Okay, guys, all everybody up here, okay? Uh, I need all of the emojis appearing in scene one to get in place. Smiley, you're my narrator. Has anyone seen Angel? Angel? Down the frame! Oh, my yeah. gosh! Don't sneak up on me like that. Jeez, you almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Wonderful. I think I'm ready for my scenes. I don't know, Angel. I might have to save you for Halloween. I didn't know. Uh, uh, silly Sam. Don't you remember what happened in those scenes with the angel? Yes, the angel appeared and told Mary that she was going to have a baby, and his name would be Jesus. What a wonderful message. But what was the first thing the angel said? Don't be afraid. I can only think of one reason why the angel would say such a thing. And that is? It must have scared the willies out of everyone. Seeing an angel appear in your living room? Yeah, that's probably fair. But uh, I, I think don't be afraid means more than just that. Uh, thanks to Jesus, we don't have to be afraid of sin or death. Jesus came to conquer them all. And now that we have Jesus, he can take away all of our fears. Why, Sam, that's so brilliant. Did you think of that? No, I just got that from the Bible. I'm so excited that I get to be the angel. What a role, telling the mother and father of the baby Jesus that they will be parents to the Messiah. When can I tell them? Okay, we're almost ready, angel. Slow your roll. Oh, you got to get in your opening spot, and I'll give you the signal. Okay, okay, okay. All right, everybody, places, places, sheep emoji. You're not until the nativity. Horse, come on. Long ears. I need a donkey, not a horse. Shrugging emoji. Hey, where, hey, where is everybody? Do not be afraid. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't okay. resist. <laughs> okay, let's get this started. Let's get this okay. started. Okay. Six months after Elizabeth had become pregnant, God sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin named Mary in Nazareth, a town in Galilee. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. He came from the family line of David. The angel greeted her and said, The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was confused because of his words. 
She wondered what kind of greeting this could be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and be called the son of the most high God. The Lord God will make you make him a king like his father David a long time ago. He will rule forever over his people. His kingdom will never end. How can this happen? Mary asked the angel. I am a virgin. The power of the most high God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth will have a child even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has become pregnant for six months now. That's because of what God says is always true. Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sin. All this took place because the Lord said through the prophet, the virgin is going to give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. The, the name Emmanuel means God with us. Joseph woke up and did what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. He took Mary home as his wife. All right, everyone, everyone, great job. Angel emoji, you were fantastic in that last scene. You were angelic. I really felt like there was like an angel and I could hear it. And you're sharing the good news with Mary and Joseph. Oh, thank you so much. It was great. It was great. Great job. Great job. Okay. So now where is my shepherd? Uh, surprised emoji. So <laughs> oh my eyes. goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't. I can't believe it. Is this my scene? Uh, wow, you are already in character, aren't you? No, 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 this is the way I always am. Really? Yes. All the time? Yeah, yep. Wow, do you ever get tired of being so surprised? No! Okay, no way! Okay, then, now. All right, um, okay, surprise emoji. In this scene, you are playing the shepherd. Oh, I can't believe it, I'm the shepherd! Yeah. And you're going to be visited by an angel who will tell you that Jesus has been born. What? What? I get to see baby Jesus? Like, for real? Yes. And of course, after hearing what the angels have said, you're going to run out to Bethlehem to see the baby Jesus. Ah! Wow, you really are like this all the time. This? Oh, like super surprised right now. I'm so excited. Ooh, this is God's son. Like, Jesus is coming to save the world from sin. Yes, he is. After all those years of waiting, all the prophecies, he's finally here. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Save it for the stage surprise, okay? Your scene is starting right now. Ooh. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were terrified. Ah! But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a large group of angels from the heaven appeared. They said, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those who is pleased with on earth. The angel left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, Let's, let's go to Bethlehem! Let's see the thing that the Lord has told us about! Ah! <laughs> so they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in the manger, and after the shepherds had seen him, they told everyone what the angel had said about this child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. She thought about them over and over. The shepherds returned. They gave glory and praise to God. Everything they had seen and heard was just as they had been told. 
Okay, emojis, let's move on to the next scene. We are getting close, and I need the three wise men queued up. Um, and then, uh, King Herod. Where is King Herod at? Has anybody seen angry emoji? Angry emoji? I'm right here, Dave! Jeez! It's Sam. It doesn't matter what your name is. Alright, you're in character too. I really like it. Uh, I really believe you are the I'm angry. I'm not uh, in character, Don. I'm really angry. I thought Jesus was the savior of the world. He he is. I thought he was God's son. I thought he came to die for our sins. He did. Then why do I have to be angry about it? You're the angry emoji. That's your job. You're typecasting me. That's what this is. Just because I go around expressing anger and frustration, I get to typecast as King Herod? But who else is going to play King Herod? Get, get happy face over there. He can be like, Oh, I'm so excited about the newborn king is here, but deep down he's like, I'm gonna wring his little neck! Okay, angry. Listen, I know that you're angry. You bet I am! Oh, okay, but this is an important part of the story. Herod isn't just an angry king who thinks someone wants to steal his throne. He represents sin and darkness. The world was ruled by this sin and this darkness for thousands of years. And Jesus came and set us free. We need you to be that villain. We need everyone to see that Jesus had to come to set us free from sin and death. Well, I don't like sin, and I don't like death, and I don't like darkness either. These are all scary things, and if you need me to be the bad guy in this little drama, well, I'll do it. I, I want the kids to know Jesus saved them and all the bad things. Thank you, Angry. You know what? I appreciate it. I'm going to see you at the cast party. You're going to serve those little finger sandwiches? Yeah, we will. Okay. I don't like finger sandwiches. Well, then okay. <clears throat> Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea. This happened while Herod was king of Judea. After Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the child who has been born to the king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose. Now we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about it, he was very upset. Mm. So Herod called together all the chief priests of the people and the teachers of the law. He asked them, Where is this Messiah going to be born? In Bethlehem and Judea, they replied. This is what the prophet has written. He said, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. You, a ruler will come out of you. He will rule my people, Israel, like a shepherd. I don't like the sound of that. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men. He found out from them exactly when the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem. He said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report it to me. Then I and go and worship him too. <clears throat> yeah. After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. They were filled with joy when they saw it. The wise men saw Jesus with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshiped him. Then they gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But God warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. So, they returned to their country on a different road. Okay, emojis, it's time for the big finish. I want everyone who sees this emoji Christmas pageant to know that Jesus is the greatest gift ever given. There's only one emoji who can share the love like that. And that, of course, is heart eyes emoji. Where's heart eyes emoji? Where are you at? Oh, this can only mean one thing. You have a crush on someone. Oh, I'm, I'm what? You, you don't have to hide it from me. You have a crush and you know it. No, I, I don't. Okay, okay. I'm who is it, huh? Uh, is is it someone in your phone? Is it, it, uh, it's Mare. I don't think you got the right idea. Like, Are we're you literally Mar uh, been texting her a lot lately? Well, yeah, I know. Okay, when you cut it out, this isn't about me having a crush. I'm literally married. This is about Christmas. It's about the greatest Christmas gift ever given. Uh, something you got for Mary? No, 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 no. It's something God gave the whole world. Oh, you mean Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's no 
no way you can ever top that gift. Not even for man. You're right. You're right. Jesus is the greatest gift anyone could have ever received. And I want all my friends to know it. Uh, will you help me then? Will you tell them all what Jesus has done for them? Please. Sam, it will be my honor. I'll go out there and flash my big hard eyes and let the whole world know just how much God loves them. Yes, thank you. And later, when you're ready to tell Mayor how you feel. Okay, listen, listen. Just get out there, hard eyes, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, everybody, places. This is the big ending. We want to make it memorable. Uh, just a moment, young man. Uh, just a moment. I, uh, I think you forgot something. Something, uh... Very important to the story. We saw the angel tell Mary and Joseph about the baby. We saw the shepherds and the wise men, but uh, we never saw the baby in the manger. Okay, quit being so skeptical. We've saved that part for the scene coming up, and there's also a part with you in it. You mean... You mean I get to be Joseph? Uh, no, no. Uh, but you are the innkeeper who doubtfully sends them to the stable. I doubt that role is the best one for me. Trust me, I think it's a great fit. Very well, if you insist. I mean, I guess this pageant turned out better than you thought? Mm, I'll admit, it's, it's been fun. Mm, maybe we can do it again next year. Or, you know, maybe do an Easter pageant or... Story of Genesis. Have embarrassed face emoji play Adam when he eats the apple and uh, get work to your sweat emoji to play Noah, the boat builder. <laughs> and uh, let laughing boy there play Abraham's wife, Sarah. You know, thank you, all who laughed at that one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that, that's good, that's good. I like those ideas. Go on, um, get to your place. Uh, you're the innkeeper, so get, get, get your space on the stage. And all of y'all, take us home. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law that required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went from Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem, the town of David in Judea. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family of the line of David. And Mary went with him because they were engaged. She was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth and placed him in a manger. That's because there's no guest room where they could stay. I'm sorry. Uh, no room here. I doubt we could squeeze anyone else in. Hey, Sam, how was that? Long ago in the stable, a baby was born who changed the course of history. He was the Messiah, the Son of God, who had come to save his people. God knew we could never afford to pay the price of our sins. So he paid that price for us with his only son. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, Anyone who believes in him will not die, but he will have eternal life. Jesus is the greatest gift ever. He's the greatest. Sorry, sorry, that's not sorry. Jesus is the greatest gift ever given. He's the greatest gift you will ever receive. We hope you and yours welcome Jesus into your hearts this Christmas and every day of the year. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope my emoji friends have brought a smile to your face. But more importantly, I hope this Christmas you will invite Jesus into your hearts. There's no gift that you can give yourself than a relationship with Jesus. God sent his only son to be our savior. That is why we text you all a Merry Christmas. Bye, guys. I'm out of the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised the whole time. Two down, three to go. Let's go. I'm ready when you are. Scene three. Take one. <laughs> All right, so see you yeah. You're going to serve those little finger sandwiches? Yeah, we will. Okay. <laughs> Green
screaming than a a shepherd that's too sheepish. <laughs> there you go, that's you. Okay, emoji. Uh, <laughs> emoji. Emoji. <laughs> Angry emoji. What? I'm right here. Well, what do you think of the show? Okay, from the top. <laughs> from the top! Sure, you're gonna serve those little finger sandwiches? Yeah, I will! Well... Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright, Emoji, you can have this. Yeah, I will. What happened? What happened? This happened. This happened. No, this. <laughs> Wise men from East came <laughs> born to the king. I really hope you make bloopers out of this. Oh, oh that hurt. <laughs>